What's going on everybody? Paul the DJ back here again with you from Baltimore, Maryland. This video is on how to MIDI map your Novation Dicer. Your orange pads, if you hold this little button down, you can map all five of those. Your green one, if you hold that down, you can map all five of those. And that is also how you trigger it, is you hold the small one and hit the button. The red one you cannot, that is to delete cue points. As you see, I now only have four, and I did have five. I can set the fifth one again if I want to, but it's probably in the wrong place now, so I'm gonna delete it. So, how to map your green and yellow. If you don't know, Serato has made it very simple for you, and there's a little tab right up here next to your setup that says MIDI. If you click on that, it shows you all the MIDI points. You click on anything, and you hold that small button and click it and it maps it to that. You can also show the MIDI panel which you can set. You can see I have one set here, I have one set here, I have one set there, and I have one set over there. This is to scroll up and down through my library on these two. This is to load the left deck and that is to load the right deck. I don't use it very much, but I had room to do it, so I went ahead and did it. My orange layer is what I have mapped the most. These two are two effects. This one is the crossfader for video SL. On this side, I have also two effects. I have the crossfader for video SL. To MIDI map any of the individual things, if you want to mini map your video SL, SP6, or the DJ effects, you're going to click on that tab first, then you're going to open the MIDI tab. And you see right here in the center I have deck 1 and 2, and deck 1 and 2 on the other side. So my effects are always turned on. I just turn on deck 1 or deck 2 and that effect goes on it. Same on this side, I turn on deck 1 or deck 2, my effects are already on, so as soon as I turn one of these on, that's how it affects it. If you'll watch right here, I'm gonna hold this button down and hit this button and this button, and you're gonna see it trigger them. There's one of them on, there's the second one on, there's one on, there's the second one on. That is roll out, and that is echo out for my left deck. If you watch on the right deck, that is echo out, and that is roll out. If you watch my fader on my video SL, because I have the 56 mixer still, way before Serato was ever out, I've had this mixer. So I've now mapped my crossfader so it goes by itself. If you look right here, I hold that small button, hit that button, and there goes the crossfader. Like I said, I also have my drops set up on this. So if you watch this one, you'll see the play button go. So all I'm doing is holding the small button. Paul the DJ in the mix. That also turns it on and off. All the D all the D all the D depending on how you have your sample set up. That's pretty much about it. There are many, many, many different options. I've gone through many changes with the MIDI mapping of these things. I think I probably have them set up to the way I like them now. Like I said, I have a bunch of stuff that is also mapped that I don't really use. I use it every once in a while. I just have mapped it just because I had the room to do so. Go ahead now and set all your favorite stuff to the Novation Dicer. Your drops and all that good stuff so you don't have to touch your laptop as much and look like more of a real DJ, I guess. Also, this is the best hundred dollars I think I have ever spent in my life on a piece of equipment. They are definitely a lot of fun. They make doing battle style stuff a lot of fun and remixing stuff a lot of fun. So uh, definitely give them a try. Peace. Holla at your boy.